Shalom, giving all praise to Yahweh, Shem El Shai, Shalom, to the 144,000 of the rest of the elect out there. Shalom to you all. I'm going to entitle this video The Etymology of the Word Harlot, Prostitute, and Fornicator. So, this is a video on uh, a page, uh, the, big, the Bigger Picture. And I believe he, this brother here, I don't know that too much about him, but I believe his name in the hip hop world is the the bigger, if I'm not mistaken. I don't really keep up with hip hop. But he was uh, down with, uh, I hope I'm saying his name right, Math Hoffa, if I'm not mistaken. And he, caught, so, so, so to speak, found Christ. Um... So you see, he got the crown on, he got the gold seat. You know, he found Jesus. I don't know how you got to go into him. But it says on the t-shirt, Christ's lives matter. Now, I don't know if the good bishop here, <laughs> I don't know if he told him that Christ is really not his name or explained what is meant by Christ, that there's a white Christ. Because he might be a Christian but he might believe that Christ is white but he just happens to be, be black we don't know that and I truly doubt if he said well the, the word Christ let's talk about the word Christ since it's on your t-shirt or your sweatshirt whatever and tell him that that word means uh, anointed and the word in the Hebrew is Hamashayak and the word and, and you know going in that direct direction you, you know, when people say Jesus Christ or Jesus the Christ, you got to tell them the true name. Tell them what the word Jesus means, and that is a made-up word. It's a compound word, which means nothing. G doesn't mean anything, and Zus doesn't mean anything. But, uh, so that's the first thing he should have told him about. So is he fit really, is this brother really following the Messiah? Not really. I mean, he knows by the book. Um, but anyway, the, the title of the video is Bishop Nathaniel on the Challenges of Commitment, Adherence, and Sexual in, in Matters of Sexuality. So I, I, I um, muted it. It said, especially single brothers, they, they'll be on uh, back, backpage.com looking for some butt. Well, let's say you go to the supermarket and you look for some butt. You get a piece of butt in the supermarket too, in the library, anywhere. Men were getting with women long before backstage and YouTube and this tube and that tube. So now let me let let me let you uh, watch and read. But I know that old school, yeah, so yeah, the old school, so. I'm aware of that, but there's something called repentance. Uh, absolutely, you know, absolutely, you know, you fall, fall or fail, scriptures say, eight, seven times, and uh, well, it says four or seven times to get back up. Your lifestyle of committing adultery. Okay, so he said committing adultery. Com adul adultery is when you uh, have sex with a woman w with a, that's married to another man or dealing with another man, having sexual relations with another man. Technically, that even though they get, didn't get marriage papers, the first man that deals with a woman, has sex with that woman, that's by law, by common law, by scriptural law, that's his wife. So any man that lays with that woman that's adultery, and that's uh, punish, punishable by death. That's the, only, that's the only way adultery takes place. When a man lays with a woman that has a man. It has nothing to do with if a man lays with a woman that doesn't have a man, but he has an initial a primary wife. Now, if Deacon Athan got kicked out for adultery, 
and he didn't and he dealt with a woman outside of his wife and sh he she wasn't dealing with nobody that's not adultery so if 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 he got kicked out that means he's he's not of the elect at all deacon Nathan, if you did that you're not of the elect because you took a year off because they told you what if bishop nate said okay the punishment for committing adultery let's say you did actually commit adultery the punishment for committing adultery is you out to school for 10 years so you ain't doing shit for 10 years and let's say the destruction come the deliverance come two years in are you going to be delivered are you going to say well look i would have been out there speaking but bishop Nathaniel you told me not to so i don't know the backstory now now deacon a if you have a, a fucking backbone you can let me know the details okay you like to play them little games with your with your million and one uh avatars tell me what the details of the adultery did you did you mess with a a woman that was dealing with another man or is was you charged with adultery adultery because you were dealing with an you had a side chick that she wasn't dealing with nobody and technically if you ain't got a virgin you are all of y'all are committing the act of adultery you're dealing with a harlot oh she only had this only she only had one man still a, if she deal with you the man still living she a harlot what is amos one of my favorite precepts know it by heart amos 7 verse 17 read that your wife should be a harlot in the city the city is babylon okay so so now i'm i'm hoping and praying that in the IUIC, every time you have a marriage, I'm hoping that woman is a virgin. Because if she's not, that's not lawfully a marriage. And you shouldn't be together. You see this big thing coming out with uh, uh, Pastor Dow. You know, that's clearly a sin. Because if he can do it, that means the whole congregation can do it. They can, the guy left from married it, you know. So anyway, it says uh, lifestyle of committing adultery you don't make it a lifestyle yeah you can only commit adultery once get that woman that's married that's adultery but that's it don't do it three times of prostitution like uh corinthians chapter six corinthians let me show about dealing with prostitutes and that has nothing to do with prostitutes and a prostitute is a prostitute is a woman that is dealt with as a harlot that dealt with many men the apostle paul was talking about and yes you, you're not supposed to be committing adultery but you have no choice unless you get a virgin where well, you're going to find a 20 year old virgin in america among among the tribes good luck buddy so now what Paul was talking about was spiritual adultery and physical adultery. Because it tells you that in 1 Corinthians uh, 6 verse 18. We're going to read uh, six, uh, uh, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 15. Okay? So I'm going to say this again. If you got the house of Joel, the house of Maya the house of... Uh, Yaquab, the house of this, the house of that. If any of them women dealt with another man that's currently live, living with that, um, that man is still living, then that's a death and adulterous uh, union. Okay, you're dealing with a harlot. So let's let's watch and read. It's a prostitute, uh, and I'll say this about prostitution some brothers there's some brothers <laughs> in the israelite in the israelite community just mentioned gms who buy so hey look if if hosea was uh, around in this time he'd be in gms because the most i told him to get a pro uh samson would be in gms as well judah would be in gms because Tamar, i believe her name was played the harlot Oh, she did it, but she still played the harlot. She still played it. 
even though it was accounted to her righteous. She was a righteous harlot at that time. She said, brothers, the Israelite community who buy, who buy prostitutes, I don't buy prostitutes no more. I repented of that. <laughs> you know what I want, right? You know what I want, right? Chapter 6 is first. First Corinthians chapter 6. Seven, it's actually 15, I believe you can start at. Somewhere about there. The first Corinthians chapter 6 and uh, 18. No, you don't want 18. Fornication is adultery. We're going to get into that. Uh, let me see. Uh, joined. Okay, 17. But, but he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Uh, damn commercial. Some white women that can't play. Come on now. I'm sorry. Yeah, we don't need that. 16, 15. Know ye not that your body, your bodies are the members of the Messiah. Now he's talking to the church of Corinthians. That I mean the, the Israelites in Corinth. You got to do what the scriptures say do. What the order was that been laid down. Now, if you have, if you want to deal with this, you know, harlot thing and you know, prostitution thing, that's the church going off, doing what they want to do. So, if a man has long hair, is he playing the harlot spiritually? Get that right. He's playing the, the harlot spiritually. And you got IUIC members of men that got long hair. So one guy from England said, it's not talking about long hair. He just took away from the scriptures and added to the scriptures. It's talking about the style of the way you wear the hair, which is a woman's style. There's no, there's, if a man has long hair and a woman has long, long hair, you don't do something to make it. Well, that's a feminine, no. And you got men that got it all braided up and tied up and all that. So give me a fucking break, all right? And I went to, uh, back in the day, we went to this college, we were going to different colleges, right? So we went to this one college, and I was straightforward. Jake was asking questions. Well, what are we going to do in the future in this? And I just, and I, I forget what they said. And I just said, look, this place is going to be destroyed. And all the Jakes got up at the same time and left. And the only ones in the audience were Edomites. There's a handful of Edomites. And then them brothers that were with me, they, which all f f went back into the world, they're going to get a chip, and they're going to get a, they're going to eat a missile. They all abandoned me for me coming out that strong because they were saying, well, and they reported to that demon, Lahab, the black demon, that t now teaches that Edomites and other nations can make it. He, he, they went, ran to him, and it was on videotape, and I had the tape. <laughs> so I said... I, I, you know, I, I yikewobbed them. I said, they said, well, where's the evidence? Uh, there's a tape. We taped it. So I said, I got the tape. <laughs> and I said, I said, I'll bring the tape in. Man, I, I threw that fucking tape away. I erased that motherfucker. I said, man, you ain't going to. I said, fuck y'all. You know? That was my attitude, right? Anyway, they still, their thing was, see what you did? See, you came straight. You, you came straight gangster with these people. And they offended them and they left. And see, we were trying to get money. Ah, we were trying to get money. You got to be fucking straightforward, bro. You know? Well, why are you cursing all the time? You don't like me cursing. Go, 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 go someplace else. Okay? Uh, what's this guy? Uh, Danny, um, what's his name? Uh, Ryan Garcia. He calls himself a Christian. He's suck my, suck my prick. F you, this, that. He's smoking a stogie. He's, he drunk a, a beer at weigh-in. So you Christians, get at, get at him. Ain't no, ain't no Christians going to get after uh, uh, Ryan, uh, what's his name, uh, Ryan Garcia. But he's a boy, my love of Jesus. He'll smoke a spliff. Or he'll tell somebody to suck his Frankfurter. So now, so he's talking about, so any man in Israel that comes to this truth, that believes in the Messiah, Old and New Testament, if you got long hair, you're involved with a spiritual harlot. You're involved in spiritual harlotry. All right? Let's listen. Oh, let's read. 
members of the my, make them members of the harlot. When you when a man has long hair, you you are in the spirit. You're in the, um, you're a member of a harlot. Okay. And that's 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 uh, that's alpha alpha alphabetism. A man got long. That's why when Paul said that, he said in the spirit of if you if a man got long hair, he's an alpha he's an alphabet person. That's a feminine thing. He said it's a shame for a man to have long hair. So let's listen. It says, okay, it said the member of an harlot, a prostitute. So uh, about a prostitute, a woman, and a her, and she ain't got to be the girl on the corner selling her butt. She could be the girl next door. All, and guess what? All you men that got wives, you dealing with the girl next next door. So what's, what difference? They're all harlots, unless they're virgins. You got to marry them when they're virgins. And you, find, you, tell, you dig, find me a 20-year-old virgin, unless she's been in a, co a coma for 20 years. And you hop on her. The girl next door, all you got to buy her is a Happy Meal. She'll give you some butt. And that's the spirit of these women. You got to take me out. You got to take me out to an exclusive restaurant, meaning you got to spend about two, three hundred dollars on her. Then you got to take her to a play. That's another four or five hundred, whatever the case may. You got to buy a shit. And you didn't spend like twenty five hundred, three thousand dollars before you get the box. So that's 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 a harlot, harlot ism, harlot tree, whatever you want to call it. So so. Uh, Amos uh, 7 verse 17 Thy wives, your wife should be a harlot in the city The city is Babylon the Great A happy meal She'll give you some butt uh, Go ahead Go ahead The Lord forbids it God forbids The answer is in what You know you not That the uh, Okay it so says that He that which joined to an harlot is one body. Men in Israel with long hair are harlots, are joining themselves to a harlot. Spiritual harlotry. Spiritual harlotry. Let me see. Uh, body to, uh, to say he... Like fornication, there's a physical fornication with a man and a woman which is a, a adultery, and there's a spiritual fornication. When when Israel started following these strange gods, you would go to, uh, 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 what is it, uh, Ezekiel chapter 8, weeping for Tammuz secretly. Um, uh, Jeremiah, I believe that's 44 or 43, where it goes, goes into the making cakes uh, to the queen of heaven. And that's why they got oh when uh, Jeroboam he, he um, got the uh, the northern kingdom to come follow him he pulled out two golden calves that went back during the time of Egypt going back going back to Egypt because they were in the wilderness so because they were secretly worshiping other gods so that's that's what is meant by harlotry and that's what Paul was saying to the church as a whole. It says, uh, what, no. And like I said, the Most High told, allowed uh, Samson to lay with a harlot. The Most High put the spirit on Samson. He had two women. The lat the, he had the first woman, and then he had the second woman. They were both Philistines. Delilah was a Philistine. And why did he have a thing for Philistine women? You read, go, up, go back and read the book. I believe it's uh, the first, I believe the first chapter to start with is uh, Judges 13, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to go to it. Somewhere in Judges, Judges 13, Judges 12, around there. 
And it tells you that the Most High put the spirit, because the parents objected to the fact that uh, why are you dealing with uh, women of, of, of the other nation, the, the, the Philistines? And they said, well, why can't you deal with the Israelite women? Which were far be more beautiful than the Philistine women. Them were, them were, um, them were uh, uh, people, Miz Mizraim, Egyptians, Sudanese, so you can understand. And um, he said, you get me, get me a wife. I believe he said, you get me a wife for the Philistines. And it said that the Most High put the spirit on him to, uh, and somebody could put it in the, say, I'm not going to look for it. He put this, the most I put the spirit on him to get with a Philistine woman to cause that that drama between Samson and the Philistines. It was all this is the most high's movie. The most high is the director and the producer on high. Okay, so it says, Stop, read it right. What know ye not that he which is joined to and haul it is one body. Right, like if you uh, you do anything that's go going against the laws, and you're in this truth, you would, that's that's harlotry. Like I said, believing in other gods. Uh, well, this is harlotry right here. He adds to the scriptures, teaching about hell as an eternal damnation. That's harlotry, man. So he's laying down with a harlot, a spiritual harlot. Uh, to saying in the flesh, but he that is joined with the Lord is a spirit. Flee fornication. Uh, flee fornication. Flee fornication. When you look up the word fornication, it means adultery. Flee fornication. So fornication is dealing with a woman that's not your wife. Right. But guess what? Your, your wife should be a harlot in the city. So what can you do? Become a eunuch like Paul, a spiritual eunuch? And Paul wasn't a physical. He didn't cut his rod off. He, he just didn't deal with women because the most I put the spirit on him not to deal with women. That's not your wife. You're going from woman to woman to that well even if you go to one woman if you go to one woman and she had one man before you that's adultery that's fornication that's harlotry a wicked evil generation uh what is it uh a, a, a wicked and adulterous generation an evil and an adulterous generation because we all adulterers whether we like it or not but when you bring in the thing, well, we found a virgin, but she's 12 years old, well, 11 years old. Uh, see, these guys, these guys, they were little kids. In the kingdom, we're going to have them, we're going to get them when, they, when they're 12, 13 years old. Okay, uh, woman uh, to uh, woman to woman, to that uh, fornication, and as young, especially young men, I let the young men know. Said, listen, you're not of a marriageable age. You don't have a job to take care of yourself. Okay, so. That means you gotta be, wait until twenty. You gotta get blue blue balls until you're twenty. What if what if there's a situation where you can't find a job? What if you get a job in your twenties and you get injured on a job? You get married to a woman. You get injured on a job. You get a what, what do you call that? A work work workman's comp and insurance or whatever. That that money runs out in two years. She's got to work. Can she then leave you? Cause you ain't bringing in the money. So right here, he's adding to the scripture. This this individual right here, he's adding to the scriptures. Or what if you got a job and ain't a good job, and you love this woman? That's adding to the. Where's that in the law? Where's that in the law? You got to have a certain amount of money. Now, what if she's a? What if you got a good job, 
and she's a and she's a high maintenance chick. What you gonna do about that? See, that's none of that's none of your concern. <laughs> As my man, as my man Richard Pryor, the old man in uh, Which Way Is Up, he said, "That's none of your concern. That's be, that's betwixt that's betwixt them white folks and the Mexicans. That's none of your concern." Anyway, moving on. Got to have a little fun with this. And see, he's listening because he's looking at Bishop Nate as the great bishop that has all the answers. I don't know his his uh, background. As far if he says Christ, that means he knows the Bible. Does he really? Does he? How deep is his knowledge of the Bible? Does he know all the breakdowns? Because if he doesn't, this guy can tell him about hell, and he'll believe it because he's not. Um, what's the word I'm looking for? He's he's not keen when it comes to the scriptures. All right. So he can tell him anything and he'll most likely believe it because he's looking at him as a teacher. It says need to live in abstinent, abst, abst, abstinent life until you're able to provide. What if the guy got a hard job? What if there's a, you know, you know, work shut down? You know, you can't find a job. Here you are, 25 years, 25 years old, walking around with blue, blue balls. For yourself, get your mind, get your mind right. Then you can take care of a woman and a family. Now the scriptures speak about a woman working, uh, Proverbs 31. It's also in Ecclesiastes, regular Bible, where it speaks about a, Two are better than one. So that the woman got to put put in two. Okay? Because once you say wife, you say a mother that involves children, you got to be able to provide. And that's not been taught in the Christian or black community. As a young man, I grew up, they... You know, you the more, but you get from a woman that m makes you a man. That's not what the Bible says. No, a man is when you reach pu puberty. What the hell are you talking about? A man is when you reach puberty. That's when you become a man. When you go from a child to a man, was about twelve years old. Uh, Bible says you it says you know. Proverbs 12 and 8 says, A man shall be accounted worthy according to his wisdom. But that's not taught. You understand. Read the Proverbs 12. So this guy, he's, he's a master at, uh, you know, adding and taking away. Taking away and adding. He just makes up shit that he go as he goes along. Like I said, guy's twenty meets a woman that's eighteen or whatever the case may be, and that's the way it's supposed to be in the ancient world. And uh, he uh, he's working for five years. He gets injured. You know, medical bills, this bill, that bill, all these situations coming up, and uh, he uh, he can't really provide. So his woman got to step in. Does, can the woman leave? Can the woman now leave the man? Because he started off right. Are you going? Are you going to send him checks? Hmm. Anyway, with that, I'm gonna say shalom.